playoffs between Parma and Legion, known after a Panthers field goal. Frogs looking to answer. Quarterback Michael Salem finds Damon Sheehy Giuseppe. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Joy to the world. Frogs take the lead. Panthers quarterback Robbie Patterson gets to the defense to jump and takes advantage. Deep strike to Matea Gelfi over the shoulder grab for the touchdown. Parma back on top. This would turn into a slugfest. Salem finds she Giuseppe mosses the defender. Last time these two two played, they scored over 100 points. Could be another high scoring one. Patterson finds Jelfi again for the one on one matchup and he pulls this one down out of the air. Finally, a stop and the Panthers would take advantage. Ryan Minetti punches it in on the Panther power run. And Parma would get the 29-20 victory. They're moving on to the semifinals, try to defend their Italian Bowl crown. Mason, Lowry, and Nick I to have more from the playoff victory. Well, you folks at home, if you're big fans of the IFL like we are, you can shout it from the rooftops. This Parma team, after kind of an indifferent first two months of the season, they are back in a big, big way. Yeah, and I think we're both comfortable to say they're starting to remind us of last year's Parma team that really pushed towards the end of the season and really forced their way into the Italian Bowl. That might be what's happening here, Mason. The really important thing is that their defense is up to snuff again. They've dealt with some injuries and inconsistent personnel all season long. Last year, they won it with defense. Defense. And these last two games, they've won it with defense. They held the Guelphie to just 12 points in the regular season finale two weeks ago. And a month ago, they gave up 55 to these Lignano Frogs, and today, just 20. Yeah, much different game. They really forced Lignano to put everything kind of in those first three quarters to put 20 points on the board. It took them long drives. You didn't see the big plays we saw Lignano have in the first game of the season, and they really slowed that down, and Lignano didn't have much left in the fourth quarter. We saw one truly baffling decision, didn't we, from the Frogs right before halftime they choose to go for it on fourth and 11 from around their own 30 yard line. Iston Solomon ends up getting sacked back at the 15 not long after Parma punches in a touchdown. That's going to keep this coaching staff, I'm sure, up at night. But all the same, this Lignano team has just been so much fun to watch. They really contributed in a big way to the entertainment value of the league this year. Yeah, and you really hope that both Ison Salem and Damon Sheehy Giuseppe come back because I think they added a lot to this league. Just uh, I think probably the most dangerous duo I've seen over the last three years that we've covered this league. Hopefully they come back. I think Lignano is going to be good for a long time. And I think there's a lot to be excited about if you're a Frogs fan. Semifinal matchups that are set. Verese Scorpion are the number one seed. They will host these Parma Panthers. That's the game we will have next week here on BCSN. In two weeks we'll have Fidenzi Guelphi the two seed and Conor Dolphins the three seed. What do you think of the matchups? Yeah, I mean two intriguing matchups. I really uh, you know, I don't know who the favorite would be with Parma playing the way they're playing yeah. against Verese. Nick Holt is Nick Holt. He usually comes up with a great defensive game plan. You've got a Super Bowl winner in Ryan Griffin as your quarterback for Verese. So really exciting matchup there. The other game, pretty interesting interesting. Ancona is here every year. They get to the semifinals, they get to the semifinals, but they never seem to have enough mm -hmm. to make it to the Italian Bowl. Maybe this year is the year, but Florence to me has the best defense in the league and it's going to be a difficult, difficult challenge for the Dolphins. Yeah, one thing I know for sure, regardless of who wins, it's going to be a really fun three weeks in the IFL, the two semifinal matchups and the Italian Bowl just a couple of weeks away.